Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's devotion. My name's Emily, and I'm part of Audacious Central Location. My verse for today is Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declared the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Now, I absolutely love this verse. It tells us that we don't have to worry about our future because God has got it all worked out for us. In this verse, he's not telling you that he has an idea of where he might want you to go or what he might want you to do with your future. He's saying he has a solid plan mapped out for you and me. Now, this version calls it a declaration from God. He's announcing this in his word, so we know we don't have to strive trying to plan out every little detail of our future alone. He is there and he knows what's to come. Because thinking about the future can be scary for everyone. Will I go to university? Will I pass this job interview? Will I have enough money to get by this month? We all have our own worries over where our future could go and feeling like if we don't do this or that, we won't get to where we want to be in life. I'd like to briefly share something I've been through recently with my job. So I'm a junior developer in an IT company and my role is to build applications for a range of companies. I only started the job June last year, but in recent months, probably since the start of the new year, I've been really struggling with the work I've been given. It wasn't always what I expected or what I wanted to be working on, and I didn't always have the support I needed to make the progress that I wanted. I really didn't understand why I was in this job. What was the point in doing all these odd tasks or learning these languages without the help and support I needed? I tried doing it by myself and was getting absolutely nowhere. My motivation ran out very quickly and I felt quite close to just giving up. I didn't know what to do. And upon admitting that I couldn't do it by myself, I really started to pray for help about it. Praying that if I was supposed to be in this job, the God would show me why, because I didn't feel like it was the best place for me to develop the skills that I wanted. I was in a rush and I felt like if I didn't do something about it soon, I'd be wasting my time. And it was during that that I realised how amazing it was that I got the job in the first place. I wasn't actively looking for a job at the time and I'd only been able to apply for it because of a recommendation from a previous employer rather than a more traditional means of applying. And then in the interview, despite the fact I couldn't answer any of their technical questions, I still managed to get the job. And it was after coming to this realisation that I can confidently say, God has placed me in this job and he's been guiding me for years through university and my previous job to, to get me to where I am now. Proverbs 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not in, on your own understanding. And trust was definitely my next step. God made me realise that I didn't get to where I am now through my own means. It was all by him. He put me here. So now I had to trust in the process and let him work with me. And I'm still doing that every day. Whether I'm having a good day or a bad day at work, I'm thanking God for my job and trusting in his process trusting in his plan for me. Something I heard in a sermon a while back was, our plans are good, but God's plan is greater. And how true is that? We can plan for anything, plan for every good and bad scenario we can come up with, but I'm sure most can agree that things never work out quite the way we plan. And that's because it's working out the way God has planned it. We don't always realize in the moment how he's working with us or within us, or using us in certain situations, but he is for his greater purpose. God has a plan for each and every one of our lives, so we can rest easy knowing that we have someone so powerful and so loving watching over us and guiding us every step of the way. Trust in the Lord, because he has a plan for you. Thank you for letting me share that with you. I hope you all have a great day.